Hi, I'm Brooke Benton. Welcome to PlyoBox Total Body. The only equipment that you'll need today is your 12-inch GoFit PlyoBox and a set of dumbbells. Working through seven series with three layers per series will transform your body from head to heel. Here are the layers. We'll start with the base layer of stable strength. Then we'll add compound movement, multi-muscles and multi-joints. For the third layer, we add dynamic strength. This is where you can expect a huge heart rate response. It's a 30 second challenge to perform at your highest potential. Each layer will flow seamlessly from one right into the next. If it gets a little too tough, just taper back a layer. Your seven series are chest, lower body, back, lower body, biceps, lower body, and triceps. We'll challenge your core and shoulders throughout these series, but if you have time to add a little extra core work, we have a bonus chapter just for that. Go ahead and grab a tall glass of water and let's get started. The best workouts start with the best warm ups. We have a fantastic warm up for you. It'll take you through all three planes of movement, raise your core body temperature, and prepare you for the workout that follows. We'll start with hip circles. Your hands will be on your hips, shoulders back, abdominals engaged, hip circle to your right. Let's go around and to the front again. Beautiful, two more. And then we'll switch directions, hip circles to your left. Around, feel that nice stretch in the hamstrings as you reach to the back and hip flexors as you come to the front. Make this movement huge. One more, feels so good. Arms out in front of you, hamstring stretch. Reach up, reach up. I want you dorsiflexing at your ankles, which means pull your toes towards your shins. Four, three, Hello, hammies. Lateral lunge to your right and to your left. Good, reach your hips out and back. You look great. It's four, three, very nice. Just add a reach with it. Reach, totally fine if you just reach outside of your knee and not all the way to the floor. Be sure you're keeping your head above your heart. Two more. Little boxer shuffle in place, right here. Good, do you have room to your right? Yeah, you're gonna need it. We're gonna add three shuffles to your right, then bring it back three shuffles to your left. Cool, let's go. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Working on agility here. Four, three, two more. Boxer shuffle here in place. Nice. The bench is right in front of you. That plyo box is ready for action. We're gonna add little tiny bench jumps. Don't get too carried away. Cool your jets. It's just the warm up. On and off. On and off. Try to land very light on that box. Four, three, two, Hip 360, kick, boom, again. Nice, warming up through the hips and through the glute. One more, around, other side. Hip 360, kick it, three more. Boom, use the big house on that kick, right there. One more, now, bigger bench jumps. On, up, you're feeling much warmer. You're ready to raise the heat. Four, three, two, freeze. Take it over, up, down. Reach, sit down and stand up. A little later in our workout, we'll add a vertical leap with us. Not just yet. It should feel like the temperature in your living room has raised. That's your core body temperature on the, on the rise. Breath, fresh air in, stale air out. One more. Hands on your thighs, come down through a shallow squat. Round it all the way up. Drop your shoulders, lift your neck, raise your head. It's time for action. 
We're gonna get in decline push-up position. Your hands are out wide, your feet are on the plyo box, your nose has come all the way down to the floor and straight back up. One minute, layer one, decline push-up. Up, right here. Now a decline push-up is extremely challenging on the chest, shoulders, and core to modify. Just flip this around where your hands are on the plyo box and your feet are on the ground. Very nice, we go a full minute with layer one each time. Then a full minute layer two. Only 30 seconds layer three, because you know layer three is when we bring the heat. Very nice, lower with an inhale, lift with an exhale. That's 30 seconds into it, you have 30 more seconds. Push-ups right here, nice. You look great. Give it four more decline push-ups. Then we're gonna take the leg a little bit wider and add a side plank with this. Layer two is compound movement. Multi-muscle, multi-joint. Let's do it. Legs a little bit wider, push up to side plank. Side plank, beautiful. Again, hello core, hello shoulders. Hello chest on that push-up. If this is a little much, how about omitting the push-up? Maybe just the plank to side plank. Do you notice you're breathing a little bit harder than you were in the first layer? That's intentional. The intensity gets harder each layer. Dig deep, find the strength for four more push up the side plank. You should have to dig to find that strength. It's called muscular endurance and those muscles are gonna endure it. Up on your feet, dynamic strength time, baby. Burpee, vertical leap, long jump over. 30 seconds, go, full out power. 180, do it again. Vertical leap, over, boom. 30 little seconds of your life, nothing. Fry it here. It's cardio, it's strength, it's power. One, three, layer. Interval will be done in three, two, whoo, good news. Series one, set one, done. Bad news. We go through two sets each series. Decline push-up position, babe. Let's do this. It's an active recovery. Heart rate will come down while we work. Right here. Up. Nice, lower and lift. Be sure during this decline push-up, you're maintaining straight line, shoulder to hip, hip to heel. Good. Hey, hey. We are at 30 seconds into set two of decline push ups. Very nice. Maybe you omit a push up or two at the top. That's cool. Join the party late. I'm cool with that. Uh-huh. Four more decline push-ups. Do you notice how much harder set two is than set one? You are already under fatigue in the first series. Add that side plank, legs wider. Other side. Nice. Beautiful. We have 12 to go. Terrific. It's eight. Right up and seven. You have a pause button for a reason. Use it. The only place that fitness comes before health in the dictionary. 
You got four more reps. Terrific. Three. Uh-oh, I feel a burpee coming on in two. Quickly, jump on your feet. 30 seconds on the clock. Burpee, vertical leap, long jump. Hit it. Bam. Taking you to breathless here. Time. Series one. Bye bye. Time to send love and kindness to our legs. Bulgarian split squats. You're gonna take these dumbbells in your hands, holding at the head of the dumbbell. Measure out about three quarters of a leg's distance forward. Your left foot's on the bench. Your right foot's about three quarters of a leg distance ahead. Go through a practice split squat. Check out your knee. Is it right over your ankle? That's where I need it to be. Rise to the top. You're gonna hit that place every single time. At the bottom of the Bulgarian split squat. Here we go. Down and up. Stable strength. The strength in your lower body. This is called a Bulgarian split squat. Go as deep as you can go without being unkind to your knees. You're telling me, Brooke, this challenges my balance. Duh. We intentionally work in instability to become more stable. You should be feeling good fire in the glute. Eight more. Up. Seven. In fact, if I could only pick one glute exercise that I could only do the rest of my life, it'd probably be walking. But a good number two would be a Bulgarian split squat. Four more. Perfect. Three. Hold on to the shaft. Okay. Now let's bring that right leg back. Lunge back. Lunge back. Add a press. Lunge back deep. And press up. So now, multi-muscle, multi-joint. Not only are you working downtown, but you're working the shoulders as well. Good. Beautiful. We work your body as a whole. We don't isolate muscle groups. We work it all together. Eight more reps. Up. If you wanted to challenge balance a little bit more, you could add a knee lift with it. Perfect, four more. Really use this glute to lift you up. Focus on your hip more than your knee. One more here, dynamic strength. Lose those dumbbells. It is a plyo split squat. 15 seconds is all it takes. You're like, Brooke, I thought it was 30. Uh-huh, 30 total, because after 15, we add plyo lunges, switch legs. Switch, 15 seconds. Whew, raising the heat today. I wanna be able to drive a Mack truck under that leaf. Get up there. Time. Whew, man, you know that was good. What would be better? A whole nother set on the other leg. Grab those dumbbells. Let's do this. All right. Here we go. Left leg is forward. Right foot on that plyo box. Measure it out. Give it a little practice split squat. Uh-huh. Be sure that knee right over the ankle at the bottom. Shoulders back, abs engaged. And we go down and up. Yes, good. So, depending on your mobility, you may be able to go super deep in this split squat. Others of you just getting started, 
it may be a relatively shallow split squat. Embrace your limitations. All right? Work at your highest potential. It's eight. Again. Remember, each layer makes up one minute of your life. That's it. One little minute. It takes you longer than that to brush your teeth. It should take you longer than that to brush your teeth. In two more. All right, left leg to the back. Lunge back with a press. Lunge back. Press it up, raise the roof. Lunge back. Raise the roof, do it again. And up. Fantastic. By adding the shoulders also, Mm -hmm. That heart rate's coming up. It's on the rise. That's eight in the tank, eight to go. You look amazing. Four more like this. And hello, dynamic strength. Don't dread it. View it as a challenge. You're an overcomer. Let's overcome this in one more rep. Lose the bells. 15 seconds. Leap it up high. Quad killers, man. After 15 seconds, 15 little seconds. Here we go, plyo lunges, switch and switch. When we stay stationary on one leg, it's a split squat. When we add movement, it's a plyo lunge. Done, two series out of here. We're moving on to the third series, which is for sexy back. Go ahead and pick up those dumbbells. You're in incline plank position, low row. It looks like this. I recommend legs wide, for a stable base of support. Good. If you wanted to make this harder, you could go into decline plank position with your low rows. Your elbow goes right past your rib cage like a slot in a toaster. Awesome. That is 30 seconds down, 30 seconds to go. Try to avoid the helium hiney, where you hoist your hips up in the air when you get fatigued. Straight line, shoulder to hip, hit the heel. Four more, each arm. Focus on your back as you do that row. Three. All right. One more each arm, then we're moving into reverse fly with a step over. Compound strength. So you go into a little shallow squat with reverse fly. Boom. You feel that back, right? It doesn't work if you're in upright position. Then it becomes a shoulder exercise. And we want back to be sure you're flexed forward. Beautiful. Two more with compound movement. Then we're moving into dynamic strength. It'll be a tricep push-up with a hiccup. You're like, look, tricep push-up. I thought we were working back. Tricep push-up will strengthen tricep and back. Then you jump in, reach the bells overhead, working your back and working your shoulders. Tricep push-up to hiccup. 30 seconds, go. I want you maximizing quantity without sacrificing quality. Low impact option is to step the feet in as opposed to jumping in on that hiccup. Work on thoracic spine extension, mid-back extension. Come on, you get one more in there. Time. One down, one series to go. Let's get in. High plank for low rows. Stable strength, shall we? We shall. Low row. Uh-huh. 
Hand to the low rib. All together, we do 16 reps on each arm in the first series, in the first layer. Eight down, here's eight. Very nice. Really, really focus on squeezing those back muscles as you pull the dumbbell to your rib cage. One more here, then we're gonna get that ticker talk in. You know my mantra, more cardio, less lardio. Uh-huh. One more rep, each. Here we go, reverse flies with the step over. Flex forward at those hips, engage your core so your back is not rounded like an angry cat. You're not vertical, but you are flat. It's eight. You look great. Four. Tricep push up the hiccup, yes? Oh yeah. Come with me. 30 seconds. Boom. Just when you think anything, anything to get me out of back, Brooke. We'll hit a wicked, evil, hard leg series coming up next. It's all challenging. But you know what? Challenging is what delivers results. We get nowhere staying in our comfort zone. Time. All right. Quads, glutes, lower body series. Start with a sumo squat. Sumo front squat, rack the dumbbells, collarbones. And I want you to notice, my spine stays flat as I go down, so I touch my bottom all the way to the plyo box. If you find you start rounding your back to go that low, don't go that deep. Nice, here. Inhale brings you down, exhale to the top. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze those glutes to the top. I want to see a dimple in those spandex where you are squeezing that bum. Here's eight more. Mm -hmm. Be sure that your knees are tracking the same direction as the toes and that's much wider than your standard turnout. It's a sumo squat. Four. At the top, you're a pillar. Turn on that core, turn on those glutes. Here we go, compound strength. Add a press with it. Down, press. I recommend sticking with this tempo so that we don't sacrifice quality of movement. If you can do that by going double time, do it. Otherwise, stay with me. Up, lower. Now be sure those dumbbells are not so heavy that in order to press them overhead, you lean into your low back. Ouch. All right, we want to protect that low back. So make sure the dumbbells are light enough. You can safely press them overhead without leaning into your low back. Two more. Then we have squat thrusts. Lose those dumbbells. You're behind your plyo box for a squat thrust. We jump on. Now watch, triple extension, knees, hips, and ankles to straddle. So we hold on to our plyo box, jump back to plank, and in. This is not a squat thrust. There was no squat there. So we want big jumps and deep squats. 30 seconds. Let's do this. Squat thrust, take it breathless. Get high in the sky between that jump and that straddle. Low impact modification is stepping on, straddling off through a step as opposed to a jump. And that is 30 seconds. 
down, the plank. Set two, dumbbells in hand, bend through hips and knees to grab them. Sumo front squat. Yes, you'll be glad to know. You're in your second set through this series. After this, we have biceps, we have lower body, we have triceps, dunzo. That's it. You look amazing. It's lower, lower, lift, lift. Brace through the core so that at the top, if somebody were to come and punch you in the belly, they would not break that form. Hold it strong, stable. Eight more. I cannot emphasize enough the importance of keeping neutral spine. Don't feel like you have to touch all the way to that plyo box. Embrace your limitations. Four. Mm-hmm, time to add a press in two. Two more. Front squats. Let's have a little fun. Add a press with it. Up, up, raise the roof. Lower. Beautiful. So what are we working here? Glutes, squats, core, deltoids, all at once. Nice. And again, if you want to go faster, and you can do so without sacrificing form, sister, go for it. But if you do sacrifice form, I want you with me here. Three more, because you know our third layer, dynamic strength, is where we really want to get that huge heart rate response. Yes, we are there. Lose the dumbbells. You're behind your plyo box. Good luck. Deep breath. Plyo box is you versus me. You are going down. 30 seconds. Let's go. You are not on the tempo of the music. You're working at your own pace, your own rhythm, getting as many quality Squat thrust as you can in 30 little seconds. Use your arms for leverage. Woo! Nicely done. We have three series left. Biceps, lower body, triceps. You're doing great. Pick up those dumbbells, stand with your right foot on the bench. Hammer curls. Looks like this. Curl. Flex the elbows. Extend at the elbows. I want you keeping your elbows as close to your rib cage as possible. And some of you tell me, well, look, my biceps are so swole that I can't keep them digging into my rib cage. Do as best you can, as close as you can to your rib cage. Feel how we're working stability as you balance on that right foot. I know you don't like it, but it's so good for you. We need to work on stability or we lose it. Three more. We're gonna add some compound movement. We'll add a pulse in the middle with a lunge back. You ready for all that goodness? Add just the pulse in the middle here. So we come halfway up, drop an inch, all the way up, all the way down. Halfway up, drop an inch, all the way up, all the way down. Optional, lunge back. Pulse, lunge back. Pulse, lunge and in. Again, every series has layer one, one minute, layer two, one minute, layer three, 30 seconds. When you think of it that way, it's only two and a half minutes of your life, each series that we repeat twice. Awesome. Give me eight more, just like that. Pulse, feeling a burn in the buys. Curls for the girls, thighs for the guys. Thumbs out, thumbs out. Nice. Four more carbon copies. When we hit dynamic strength this time, I'm actually gonna lose the dumbbells because your biceps are gonna need a break in order to be raring to go. 
for set two. Okay? Lose your dumbbells. Your left knee is still up. So it's here, I want it here. Step back, left foot. Step back, right foot. Right foot on the bench. Vertical knee left. Okay? 30 seconds. Go. Your fastest tempo. Get up there on that leap. Nice. This is where we're working power. It's not just strength, it's not just cardio. It's a full out power blast. Anaerobic conditioning. 10 more seconds, give me 10% more effort. Okay. We got the other side. Dumbbells in hand. Balance on your left foot. Camera curls. Whoops. So, biceps are actually a really small muscle group. They only flex the elbows. So I don't want anything going on at your shoulder joint. Still in quiet through the shoulders. All of the movement is here at your elbow. Uh-huh. Good. Eight more reps, just like this. If you lose your balance, don't take exercise so seriously. Shake it off, regain it, and the world will go on. We got four more. Mm -hmm. It's three. More time under tension means more tone in those butts. Come halfway up, drop an inch. Come all the way up, all the way down. Do that again with me. Add the lunge back if you'd like. Good, keep it coming. Lunge back. Really focus on the left glute, helping you up to the top of the platform from that lunge back. Perfect, give me four more. If you're not feeling tension in the biceps, you need a heavier set of dumbbells. Okay, dynamic strength loses those bells. Just for review, left foot stays on the bench, right foot steps back, left leg lunges back, left foot on, right power knee. Are you with me? I like that, let's go. more. Give me every bit the power that you did on the other side. Empty that tank. Awesome. So done with that layer. Moving back a new phrase and a brand new layer. It's a forward leaning lunge. We want to turn and face this wall. Slightly flex forward at your hip, just slightly, and lean into this knee. So with the forward leaning lunge, it's easier on your patella, on your knee, than a traditional lunge. We stay slightly flexed forward here at your hip. Your abdominals turn on. You end with the knee right over the ankle. If you feel a little bit wonky here at the bottom, use your plyo box for stability. Watch that knee. We want it showing straight forward, not turning inward. Ladies, I know that can be challenging. We tend to turn our knees in, which is a bad thing. Once you're feeling this primarily in the glute, at the bottom of the forward leaning lunge, your low ribs almost touch your femur, your thighs. Four more here. 
Okay, in two, we'll raise the intensity by adding a lift. We'll lift the back leg off of the ground and hello hamstrings. Looks like this. Here, lift, and back. Again, you can use your plyo box for balance. Primarily feeling this in the supporting glute and hamstring, that stable leg. And lift, it's gonna feel very imbalanced, but after our second layer, we'll do bench jumps. One leg is gonna be on fire, and the other leg is gonna be like, what's the problem? Don't worry, we will even it out. Woo, here, up. When you lift up, it's like somebody likes a match to this butt cheek, all right? Light that match, lift. Last four, lift. Three. So those camis and this flute, in fuego. One more here. Face your plyo box, on and off. On, off, 30 seconds. Really work on extending through knees, hips, and ankles on the way down. So I don't want you here. Open this up. It's only 30 seconds of your life. Three, two, time. In. So second verse, same as the first. What we do on one side, we need to do on both sides. I would hate for you to be imbalanced. I would hate that. You maybe flex a little deeper here in this hip. Get this rib cage a little closer to the thigh without leaning more at your back. Beautiful. Really rocking work for the back side. We're working on looking better in our britches with forward leaning lunges. Eight. Good, good. And just like with our front squat, I want you really, really squeezing the bum at the top of the forward leaning lunge. Squeeze. Urgh. Three. Last two here, then we're gonna add that lift and set the hamstrings on fire. All right, here we go. Lunge, lift, and back, do it again. That plyo box is there to prevent any catastrophes of forward leaning lunges into a lift. Use it for balance if you need to. We want no casualties of plyo box today. And lift and back. Are you feeling the goodness right in here? You should be, but we have eight more. Eight little reps, nothing. Seven. Again, watch that knee. Make a deliberate effort to shoot it straight forward. It's four. I like to isolate each glute because sometimes your stronger side wants to take charge when we work both legs at the same time. Face forward, box jumps. 30 seconds. Open up those hips here. Good news. All we have left after this is tricep. But sometimes that light at the end of the tunnel is a train. Ow! Triceps are a tough track today. Land light like an antelope, not heavy like an elephant. Three, two, and boom. Tricep time. Hey, all you need is your body and your bench. Come forward with me. Have a seat. You're like, oh, I like this part. I like this part a lot. We're not staying here. We're gonna move forward. Now for a plyo box dip. You're gonna imagine you have an itch right here in the middle of your back, and you're using the plyo box to scratch it, okay? So we don't want your back out here. I want it right by that bench, okay? 
up. Elbows go straight back. Not out, but back. The closer you bring your heels in, the easier your dip will be. So want to make it harder? Legs away out in front of you. Now for some of you, you're saying, I don't like this exercise. Dips are hard on my wrists. Dips are hard on my shoulders. And I can appreciate that. If that's the case, I want you to grab those dumbbells and go to dumbbell tricep kickbacks. All right? Take a look at the top of your screen for that exercise. Down. Good. At the top of your tricep dip, can you fully extend the elbows and really, really tighten the tries, the backs of the arms? Feel that difference? Lift up, out of it, good. Depress your shoulders. So drop your shoulders out of your earlobes. Nice, four more. Four. The next exercise is a Brooke Benton favorite. We continue with plyo dip, plyo box dip, but we add a hip bridge. It looks like this. Down, hip bridge. When you do that, hello glutes, hello hamstrings, hello shoulders. Down, we're also strengthening the lower back. Now if it's uncomfortable for your neck to look at your television screen, then look up on that bridge. Ah, uh, dip, bridge. This is just body weight alone, that's it. Eight more reps. It's eight. Up. Seven. So you're a perfect inverted plank at the top. You hoist those hips up high. Four more. And if you're doing these with proper volume, the last four reps in every set push you to your breaking point. You don't cross that breaking point, but you hit it right there. All right, third layer. It is a tricep dip with an up down. You learned that up down in our warm up. We had a tricep dip with it, and in our warm up, we didn't jump. If it's available to you, I want you jumping here. 30 seconds dip with your up down. Go. Higher on that leap. It is your last series today. Yes, we have one more set through it, but it's your last series. 10 seconds here. Done. No surprises. One more set. I'm with you. Tricep dips. Go down and up. More is not always better. If it means that you're putting your shoulder in a compromised position in order to touch your bottom all the way to the ground, don't drop that low. Embrace your limitations. You know what they call people that don't embrace their lim limitations? Injured. They end up injured. Uh, lower and lift. Stable strength for eight more reps. Up. Be sure that you're maintaining that distance between your shoulders and your earlobes. A lot of folks do tricep dips and pull the shoulders into the ears, and it comes at a price to the traps. Four more just like this. Four. Head up. If this volume is a little much for you today, pause or fast forward and move on to the next series. This is your workout. I'm just here to give you suggestions. Add that hip bridge. Up, raise the hips towards the roof and clinch the glutes. Up, down, lift. One thing I love about this bridge is a lot of people do too much for the abs and not enough for the lower back. This strengthens the posterior chain, your low back, your glutes, and your hamstrings. Eight down, eight to go. Arms feel like limp spaghetti noodles. I know, mine do too. We have four more. Four. It's up. Down. 
final 30 second anaerobic drill of the day. Tricep dip, up, down. Come with me. If you need to leave out the dip, cool. Just do the up, down. If you need to leave out the leap, totally fine. That may mean you can get more quantity in in 30 seconds without the leap. You're so close. Fight to the end. And done. You owned that workout. Fantastic job today. If you have a little bit more juice in your tank, we do have a bonus core chapter. Let me tell you, that was plenty. This little extra may be just enough to send you for the perfect day. We have our core chapter up next. Let's move on. Your core muscles are the structures that strengthen and stabilize your spine and pelvis. Using the plyo box, we'll place a towel or a mat over the top and go through a core strengthening series starting in low plank. Create a fist with your hands, forearms are parallel to one another, then step back into low plank. Let's get started. You're gonna take the knee to the opposite triceps. In, here, touch. If it doesn't quite touch all the way into the bone, Totally, totally fine. Now take your right arm, reach forward. Dolly. Left arm, reach forward. Right and left. Try to minimize the shift in your hips. You're not going to be able to be totally motionless. Just minimize that shift, okay? Out to the side like an iron cross. Eight. Six. You will feel more stable with the legs a little bit wider. Two more, side plank, up. So now you turn your hip bones to the side walls as you reach. Four, three, fantastic. In two, touch your hand to your lower back. Tap, seven. Feel a nice little stretch in the shoulder there as you tap back, three, Straight line, shoulder to hip, hip to heel, knee to the forehead. In, it may not touch all the way to the forehead, but bring it in like you're driving that knee in towards the forehead without hoisting the hips. Three. Awesome, push plank. We come up to the top and downtown. Alternate which arm does the pushing. Good. You're feeling those abbies. You're feeling those shoulders. Four more. Then good news, we'll be halfway there. We'll repeat the same series, but in high plank. One more. Hold it. Now instead of touching same tricep, touch to opposite tricep. In. Crossing through the midline. Four more. Awesome. Reach straight forward towards your television. Eight, seven. Really great for shoulder mobility here. Four more. Reach out to the sides. Boom, just like that. Seven. Tight, tight, tight through your abdominals. Don't break that plank form. Side plank for eight. Tap the tiniest part of your back, that little lower back. Six more. It's a good idea to keep your head and neck in neutral alignment. So you're looking probably about two feet in front of you on the floor. And knee to the forehead. In. It's okay if you don't make skin to skin contact, if the knee doesn't quite make it all the way into the forehead. Totally, totally fine. Two more. Push plank. Up. Again.
quivering a little bit. Me too. Last four to finish our core series. Isn't it awesome how you're able to really hit core easily at the end of an intense workout? Your muscles are already warm. It's the best time to do core strengthening. And done. You look amazing. Fantastic job today. It would be a great idea to grab your GoFit foam roller, roll it out and stretch it out now that the work is done. So long. <laughs>